Hi friends, consider the natural numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 in this way up to 31 and 32. That means we are considering the first 32 natural numbers. Now among this natural number take 4 and 32. What is the sum of 4 and 32? If we add them it is 4 plus 32 equal to 36 and 36 is a perfect square number. That means we can write 36 as 6 into 6. So 36 is equal to 6 square. Similarly, from this first 32 natural number, take 12 and 13. What is the sum of 12 and 13? It is 25. And 25 means 5 into 5. So we can write it as 5 square. The problem that we will consider in this video is how we can arrange first 32 natural numbers without repetition in a circle such that the sum of any two consecutive numbers is a perfect square. How we can arrange first 32 natural numbers without repetition in a circle such that the sum of any two consecutive numbers is a perfect square. In other words, we need to place the first 32 perfect square numbers in these 32 boxes as shown here. Here, all the boxes are placed in the form of a circle. In particular, the boxes are on the circumference of the circle. Pause the video if you would like to give it a try. Please subscribe to our channel Math1089. Now let's delve into the present problem. From all the numbers 1 to 32, like 1, 2, 3, 4, up 31, 32, what is the maximum sum of any two number? The maximum sum occurs when the two numbers are 31 and 32. And what is the sum? The sum is 63. Therefore, the maximum sum possible of any two consecutive integers is 63. Also, what are the square numbers less than or equal to 63? First one is 1 because it is 1 square. Second one is 4 that is 2 square. Third one is 3 square that is 9. 4 square then is 16. 5 square then is 25. 6 square means 36. 7 square is 49. Next number, next square number is 8 square which is 64 that is greater than 63. So we will not consider that particular number. Consider a particular number 4. Now how we can place the values, any value to the left side of 4 and to the right side of 4, then only it can form a circle, a circular arrangement how to place the numbers. So first we will consider 4. In order to make the sum of any two consecutive numbers a perfect square, what are the possibilities for 4 to the left side and to the right side? To the right side and to the left side we can place 32. In that case 4 plus 32 is 36 which is 6 square or we can place 21 so that 21 plus 4 is 25 which is 5 square or we can place 12 so that 12 plus 4 is 16 which is equal to 4 square or we can place 5 so that 5 plus 4 equal to 9 which is 3 square. These are the only possibilities. No other possibilities exist. So let's proceed to take 32 as the right number and 21 to the left. So we place 32 to the right of 4 and 21 to the left of 4. Now what should be the number to the right of 32? The possibilities are again 17. If it is 17 then 17 plus 32 is 49 or 4 
If it is 4, then 32 plus 4 is equal to 36, which is 6 square. So these are the only two possibilities. Let's take 17 to the right of 32. So if we take 17, then the arrangement looks like this. And 4 is already taken, so we cannot take 4 as a number to the right of 17. We have to proceed by trial and error method in this way. As a result, we have the circle which looks like this one. First number 4, then 32, 17, 19, 30, 6, 3, 13, 12, 24, 25, 11, 5, 31, 18, 7, 29, 20, 16, 9, 27, 22, 14, 2, 23, 26, 10, 15, 1, 8, 28 and 21. Now in this circle of numbers, if we consider any two consecutive number, for example 21 and 4, this is equal to 25, 4 plus 32, that is equal to 36, 32 plus 17, that is equal to 49, 6 plus 3, that is equal to 9, 3 plus 13, that is equal to 16. So what are the possible square numbers in this circle? What are the distinct possible numbers, possible of square numbers? The distinct possible square numbers are either 9 or 16 or 25 or 36 or 49. Also, sum of any two consecutive integers here is a perfect square. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter.